Okay, we're heading over to uh, a house we just bought in Maui. We're doing our inspections and going through everything and deciding what to add to it. And so we're going on, uh, we have a small airline that comes out of right by our house. And so uh, we'll be going out and getting on the plane and uh, zipping over to Maui. So we are uh, catching the flight to the other island. Here's Terry all excited about this flight. Aren't you? Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't the view of excitement right there. So this is the uh, small airport. You can't see it, but we live up right up a mountain right here behind this tree, and that's uh, right by our house. So this airport is now really convenient for us, except that the planes are just a little bit smaller than the jets we're used to flying on um, when we go. So uh, we'll see how it goes inside. Bye. <laughs> Say bye for the last time if someone finds the camera. Okay, the last time bye. someone put me on a small plane like this. I was kind of freaked out, but I'm okay now. All right, dude, here we go. We'll give you a little views of the island, too. Oh, look, they gave us bags. Oh, good. You're going to need one. Oh, stop. Sorry. This is the uh, cockpit, by the way. It's a pretty cool airline, though. We've flown it once before, I think. But this is it for us. Here we go. right in the middle of town. Waikiki. Waikiki starts with this little round one here. Goes all the way along there. the island of Molokai. As you can see, Molokai is not very uh, inhabited. There's a few little communities here and there. Most of them are going under. These are um, some of the biggest cliffs on all the islands on this side. Matter of fact, here in a moment we'll come up and there will be um, a leper colony called Kalao Papa. Been here for years. So these are the cliffs above Kalao Papa. And uh, years ago, years, years ago, when there was leprosy was pretty prevalent, anybody who got leprosy was brought here and brought down to Kalao Papa. If you look inside the mountain right in there, if you can see it, there's kind of a Z coming around in the trail. That's the trail that comes down to the city of Kalau Papa. This is Kalau Papa, there's three ways. Donkey, down that ridge over there. Dead center of your screen right now. You can see Z's in the hill. By plane, they got a little airport strip down here below us, you can't see it. Or by boat, and they have a, uh, also below us, a place where boats can come up and park. But that is a leper colony called Kalau Papa. Since there was no way to get in here, they couldn't affect anyone, and they couldn't get off the island. The island of Maui. Be down in the water, too. It's called an outcrop, and it's eroding away, but it take years and years, but it's an outcrop the lava flowed up. You see the color strips of sand and stuff in the water. It's not real deep here. The water is very shallow on this side. The long plain. The light colors you see in the ocean are 
of the sand coming out from the, uh, the coral sand coming out. Airport. Yeah. It was landing on a different runway, but it's still the same airport. We're talking. We're talking to the <laughs> talking to the pilot, and uh, this is his flight. Colin. Hi, Colin. Colin, cool. So Colin was our uh, pilot coming over to the Big Island. There we go. Thank you. Thanks, Colin. Thank you very much. All right, Good look out. at look at you two. <laughs> Duck to get out. Be careful! Don't bump your head there, too. Okay, so this is the front of the house, and uh, we're gonna go and take that old porch off and tear all that out. We're gonna put a garage door in. We're gonna hide all the block that you see there. We're going to tear away all the green waste and haul it off. You can see that there's just trees growing up everywhere. Every way you look, there's trash, bushes, cars, motors. You can't imagine all the things that are here. We're going to tear out that asphalt and put in concrete on that side. Uh, take out all those bushes along that side and pull them out. Uh, clean them up. You can see the siding needs to be replaced. Uh, the roof is actually brand new, but we're going to put a lot of stuff on top of the roof that we... I wish we didn't have to change. You can see we got a Jeep there. I want the Jeep. Tiffany probably won't let me have it, but it's old Willie's Jeep. Uh, and uh, We think if we can make a driveway down here at this side, uh, we can put a little apartment in the back. You can see that these folks have left. Now, this, year, this house has been sitting for five years vacant. Five years just sitting here and waiting. And uh, you can tell that they haven't finished anything or done anything. And I mean, things have been here just forever. There's trash every direction you look. But there's also a lot of good things every direction you look. Tiffany found all kinds of little vases and things that she wants to get and sell and keep. Or, um, this is the back area where we're going to put it in addition. You'll see the plans here in a second. This is uh, where we're going to add six feet off the back and make a closet and then also a uh, walk-in laundry room. Um, this will be an apartment that they can rent, um, filling in this whole square in this triangle that's missing. Uh, there's multiple trees in the back we've got to tear out. That's one of the neighbors, by the way, we talk to. We always try to get to meet the neighbors as soon as we buy a property so they start watching our house. There's trash everywhere you look. It's going to take about three dumpsters to remove all the trash and all the stuff. And then we may build right here a little area in the back, a little rental that they can rent out. This is a really cool fruit. We don't know what it is, but it's on there, so we get to say that there's fruit trees in the yard. Uh, Tiffany has a, an amazing way of writing uh, what things are. This is a uh, mango tree, and uh, mango trees are very, very popular uh, here in Hawaii, so uh, we'll probably keep them away. If you know what this fruit is, by the way, um, let us know. But um, it's a kind of an odd-looking tree in the way it hangs in the fruit. Uh, some people like it, and they desire it. We're measuring all the windows. We measure every ounce of the, uh, every uh, inch of the house, and you'll see why we do that here in just a little bit. When you look at the actual drawing of the before drawing of what it looked like, and then the after drawing of what we're going to do to the house when it's finished. When you take over, especially on a foreclosure, sometimes you're left with just a mess. You can see that there is just junk piled up everywhere, and uh, we have gotten lucky in sometimes finding really cool stuff in the mess. And most of the time, we did a house in St. Louis where they had all kinds of money and we had nothing to do but just to junk it and uh, to, to let it go. This is the kitchen area. Uh, of course, we need totally new kitchen cabinets, faucets, stove, refrigerator. Everything will be put in uh, completely brand new. This is the living room uh, looking across uh, and then also we'll go over this is the picture of the front door uh, looking back across the living room. Uh, they generally leave a lot of junk sometimes, um, hardly ever good stuff. This has got a lot of good stuff in it and they don't come pick it up. Uh, there will be a lot of things that uh, Terry and uh, Tiffany will come over on a 
Friday evening, set up a garage sale out front. All the things that they can put on eBay, they'll sell and uh, make some money on. As you see the uh, block walls inside the room there on the pink, it's a good way to see it. We're going to do away with all that and drywall everything. So there will be no wood, uh, which is a single wall construction here in Hawaii, or block, which is a very good construction in Hawaii. Uh, but it'll all be hidden, um, covered, and then everything, as you can see, will be uh, new drywall and, and really cleaned up. I think it'll look great. Okay, so we're back at the condo, and uh, this is the place we're staying over in Maui. Got a little uh, bathroom there, a little kitchenette here, then it looks into the worker bee over there and the sleeper bee in the uh, corner. Tutu's a sleeper bee because we worked too long for her. This is Tiffany drawing. So um, the house that we just looked at, if you saw, this here is her drawing that house. And she goes through and puts the walls. You can see uh, the stuff she puts in, does the bedroom, does the doors, makes the exact house. And then we'll have two things that'll happen from that. Yeah, so This is the design that she'll make. And that's the existing house. Then we'll take the existing house and give that to the architect with the real exact measurements. And then she'll turn around and design. Now we're gonna do two things. We're gonna add on to this house a huge extra room and a back area and then we're actually possibly going to make a little uh, uh, quarters where they can rent in the back too so they'll actually have two little rentals and then the house and make a really good selling point okay so Tiffany is uh, drawing pretty well and we're going to try to zoom in here if we can turn the computer around this way a little bit um, we'll try to we sit here hours it's very late now and uh, there we go and um, Tiffany now is drawing the same house. So if you can see here, this is the original house and that little room off the side. And now we've added all this space here, all the way around. And then we've also added six feet across the back of the house here and put in a laundry room. So it didn't have a laundry room before. And uh, can you give us a different view? There we go. Great. It's going to give us a really good view now. Let me see if I can pull this in a little bit. So now yeah, that's the living room, new living room and dining room. Um, and she actually can take us inside the house with this program. So we'll go inside, uh, can you jump out of this and we'll jump inside a room and actually look, um, let's look at the kitchen. So we can kind of kind of see how it's going to look. She puts the furniture in now, you can see all that. And then we can kind of look around and zoom from the kitchen and move around and take a look. So it's actually like we're looking inside the house now that she has just drawn, where we've taken out walls, that ugly living room that had all the junk in it. Now it has a nice uh, TV set up and couch and chairs and uh, really good. And then going over to the kitchen, we took that wall out and we've got an island now and then the kitchen itself. And that's pretty good. Can you show us the suite? Can we see the suite? She'll jump back to the suite once and then uh, we'll be done. Um, this is the new suite. So the back area that was grass and then weeds in the corner will now be this huge area that they can actually uh, rent out has a closet, has a going to have a bathroom inside those walls there, and uh, pretty cool bathroom and a little uh, kitchenette. So uh, that's what we decided, and that's what we'll draw, and hopefully we can get about maybe seven hundred thousand for the house and have about maybe four hundred and fifty thousand in it. So there we go. That's it for tonight. Uh, we'll see more tomorrow when we go and uh, do more measurements. Uh, we bought the house for 280000 on a street where houses are about five fifty to 700 And um, so we're going to try to get as much out of it. One house at the end of the street sold for $1.2 And so we'll see how good we can turn this house in and what we turn into. So that's kind of what we do. And then we sit here and figure out what we're going to make out of it and how we're going to build it.